The internet reacts to the first photo of Beyonce's twins. Zendaya is laughing about the possibility of dating Tom Holland. Ooh, and Donna Jane's auntie just said the most vicious thing about Camila. All that and more on today's Rundown. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to DHR. Later on in the show, we're going to be talking about how Harry Styles brought his mom to the Dunkirk so premiere. So cute. But first, let's talk about Zendaya really getting to the trolls with this Tom Holland drama. Well, yesterday, Teen and People were reporting that Zendaya is now dating her co-star Tom Holland from, of course, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh. And now Zendaya is speaking out and she's got a lot to say. She responded on Twitter saying, wait, wait, my favorite is when it says we go on vacations together. Huh, I haven't been on a vacation in years. Laughing and crying emojis included. <laughs> then Tom responded to her saying, does the press tour count? And then she said, I'm done. So people have reported that sources close to these two say they were dating. They reportedly started seeing each other while filming the movie, but they managed to keep it super private. There was even a source that said, quote, they're both really ambitious and they challenge each other, but most importantly, they make each other crack up. Oh, please. I don't think they're dating. So is this her confirming that they're not dating or is this confirming that they're kind of, there's something that hasn't developed yet, you know? I, I mean, now that I think about it, Zendaya did reveal in an interview that she was dating someone for like four years and we had no idea and they broke up last year. So, yeah, so she's single. Could be. I think she's really private. So like if mm. they were dating, there's no way we would know. At least not from her. And I feel like she would, she's the type of person that would go to Twitter and be like, this is all a lie. Mm -hmm. Like y'all are making this up because she is so vocal. This doesn't say that. This is kind True. of like being coy and ha having fun with it. So maybe they started dating, but it's still new and they don't want to talk about it publicly, which I totally get. And then apparently all the other Spider-Man co-stars have dated each other. Like all the other people who have played Spider-Man, Mary Jane, have dated each other. So maybe huh. it's a curse. <laughs> or a blessing. <laughs> um, Aaron. Yes. So Beyonce shook the internet again this morning when she posted a picture of her holding the twins on Instagram. Yes. Once again, she already shook us once when she posted the first pregnancy reveal, and now she's done it once again. So she posted the photo really early this morning, and by the way, only Beyonce can do that because everyone else would be like, no one's gonna be awake, so no one's gonna care. She's like, uh. It's Someone's awake somewhere in the world who's it's, gonna care. Exactly. Yeah. She posted the photo saying, quote, Sir Carter and Rumi one month today. So this confirmed a few things for us. We now know that their names are officially Rumi and Sir, but, and then also it's June 14th is the day that they were born officially. Oh. But yeah. the thing is, she posted Rumi Carter, no, she said Sir Carter and Rumi, and she didn't say Rumi Carter. So is Sir's name Sir Carter Carter? And then Rumi oh. Carter? Sir Carter, yeah, maybe she, maybe they just like Sir Carter together and yeah. they'll just call him that. Sir Carter, or do you think it's hyphenated? Do you think it's like Sir Carter? Is his if first it's name? Sir Carter squared. That's too confusing. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna call I love him this Sir. Kind of stuff. But this is this is what I loved about this photo. I love that her whole pregnancy was so thematic. Mm -hmm. Every photo that she posted had this, like the colors were all the same, the flowers, like the vibe was so consistent, Queen. which to me makes me feel like the whole Blue Ivy conspiracy is real, that maybe these were the first kids that she had. Wait, 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 wait. what's the Blue Ivy conspiracy? That she didn't actually carry Blue Ivy, that she had a surrogate for her. Oh, I think Blue she Ivy. carried her. You think so? I think the whole thing is a lie. I don't know. Cause she like celebrated these two babies so hardcore this time around. But she did, but I think she was hesitant with Blue because she had just had miscarriages. So she was like, mm, oh, I don't want to like put it out there. I okay. think she carried all of them. Interesting. Well, I'm happy. These babies look like they're ready to get in some shade in this photo. Like they look like they look <laughs> ready like, to get in some shade. They're like, it's not so right. <laughs> Why you got me here for this photo? I wonder if they have Instagram pages yet. They have uh, their names are what's it called? Like trademarked. They already filed that. Stop. They're ready. They're gonna take over the world. So Harry Styles has really made a splash in the last maybe year or so. Of course, he's got new music coming out or came out, and now he's going to be featured in his first big motion picture, Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk. And so the premiere happened last night in London, the world premiere that is. And Harry decided he was going to be, bring a very special date with him to the carpet. Oh, his mom. I love that. 
I love it. So his mom and Twist was his arm candy, which was so cute. And also, Harry on the carpet got a chance to run into Prince Harry, Harry Squared, and these two shook hands. They had some small talk. They looked like they were having a great time. And also what I loved about this whole scenario is that Liam Payne also tweeted out some support for Aww. Harry in his first movie. He tweeted, good luck tonight, mate. Sorry I can't be there. Can't wait to see you in action, Dunkirk premiere. And I really love that the boys are supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Although I do feel like if this would have been Zayn, nobody would have said <laughs> anything. I don't think Zane would have said it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. But here's the thing. I think Harry's going to be a movie star. I hope that yeah. his... A lot of people speculate that in this film it's not a big role and then he's going to get killed off pretty quickly. It always happens when it's a big star in a movie. They advertise like they're the main person and then they're in it for five minutes. I know. When I saw This is the End, Rihanna was in that movie and I was like, oh, this can be good. And then Rihanna like dies. She's not in it. Just oh right God. off the bat. So right who knows? But I'm going to go see Dunkirk soon. So Me I can't too. wait. I'm so excited. Okay, Aaron. Obviously, I'm not done talking about Beyonce. Why would you be? Hello. So. <laughs> Naturally, the internet freaked out and lots of celebs reacted, as well as the beehive. We died. So Zendaya shared a bee's photo and wrote on Twitter, breathtaking. Nicki Minaj reposted the announcement on her own Instagram. Brett Vergara said, nothing but respect for my president. <laughs> Oxtail God made a joke about the fact that one of the twins is named Sir, saying, quote, Beyonce had a baby knighted in her womb. Your fave could never. Someone pointed out that the twins share a birthday with Donald Trump, saying, <gasps> yo, Beyonce had Sir Carter and Rumi on Trump's B-Day. They just snatched up his day for life. They really gonna save us. And then another person compared her photo to the birth of Venus, you know, that famous photo, like yeah. in the shell? Yeah, I totally see that. Queen. Yeah, for sure. I Goodness. love the Trump birthday right? comparison now. <laughs> that is so funny to me. He was born on the wrong day. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, they came, they're kind of like the saviors of the day. They mm -hmm. came to Re, like renew the tainting of that day. Yep. It was tainted and now it's brand new. No, it's good. Oh, y'all, this story got me real heated this morning. Uh -oh. I'm just not in the mood for this. Uh -oh. It really upset me. You guys know that Dinah Jane has an aunt on social media who is very vocal about a lot of things. She has spoken out in the past about not being a fan of Camila Cabello to each their own, but this time she's speaking out about Camila in a way that I am just not feeling today and I just... I gotta talk about it. Uh oh. So Leilani is her name. She's called out Camila Cabello on Twitter. She tweeted, she knows who's to suck and who's to kiss, and that's what makes her so successful than the others. Hashtag fing your way to the top. Mm. This tweet has since been deleted. Shook. And I find it to be so repulsive yeah. that a grown woman has taken to social media to tear this girl down. I think this is so much jealousy. Like, Camila, what, for better or worse, let her do herself. Dinah Jane's in a really great spot. The girls are doing awesome. Yeah. Like, what's the reason for the shade? I don't think we need it, and I don't think it helps, and I think it actually makes, it reflects poorly on Dinah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's making Dinah look bad, even though I know that Dinah didn't, like, support this, She's probably. probably like, give me your phone, on She's probably like, you're cut out of my life, but being a representative of a family of someone, if they are constantly shading people online, it does somehow reflect you. And it just makes me so mad because yeah. I feel like both girl, the girl and the girls are doing great separately. Mm -hmm. I just don't, we don't need this. As my grandma says, if you have nothing nice to say, don't, don't say, say anything at, all. at all. Okay guys, let's put the rumors to rest here right now on DHR. Do you think that Zendaya and Tom Holland are dating? Also. Do you love that Zendaya just has Zendaya? Like, I just love that she doesn't even need a last name. Oh, she doesn't. It's amazing. Because she's like Beyonce. You don't, some names just don't need last she names, don't you know? Need it. Speaking of Beyonce, I want to know what were your reactions to the twin reveal? <gasps> yeah, I'm where sure. were you? Will you always remember where you were, where it happened, when it happened? Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what I just say. Okay, it's guys, amazing. it's the weekend. Have so much fun. Monday's going to be here before we know it. Have fun. We'll Aaron, see. Aaron, don't talk about Monday. I know, it's Friday. It's Friday. Jeez. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Bye, guys. For more, click love to hear Selena's steamy fetish song inspired by the weekend. Or click over to the right to see Dove Cameron spill on that almost deleted Descendants 2 scene.